guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Caroline and today we are going to be talking about workwear. Now some of you might be wondering why we're talking about workwear in December. The holidays are coming up, maybe you're thinking about going on vacation and the last thing you want to do is think about work. But apparently a lot of companies do do hiring in January and February. Many companies know what their projected numbers are by the end of the year and so they know whether they can hire new people. So there's a big chance that you or someone you know is thinking about starting a new job um, or have already been hired to start a new job in the new year and would need new clothes for work. Or you could be like me and you gained a lot of weight over the past year, thank you Thanksgiving, and you just need new workwear because you can't fit in your old stuff. If that's the case, I am here to help. As I said, I gained weight, I don't fit in my old work clothes, and so I had to buy a new set of workwear. I'm going to be sharing my favorite stores for that. Um, so please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're also looking for workwear, and consider subscribing down below. I'd really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get ready for work. One of my favorite retailers for workwear is Banana Republic. They have a lot of great quality pieces and you can almost always get it on sale. I got a lot of these pieces that I'm going to show you here today from their Black Friday sale, so it was 50% off, but they have a lot of great deals throughout the year. So for example, at the time of filming, they are currently having a 40% off sale. So if you're looking to get some workwear at a decent price and at a great uh, level of quality, I would say Banana Republic is the way to go. I would also recommend, you know, thinking about waiting until after Christmas. A lot of companies like Banana Republic and their sister brands, Gap and Old Navy, have post-holiday sales. When you can find a sale that's similar to what they offered at Black Friday, typically at 50% off. I remember in past years, Gap has had sales at 50% off after the holidays. And who knows, you might get a gift card for one of these brands over the holidays. So if you are looking, maybe consider until after the holiday. But one of my favorite pieces that you should consider getting from Banana Republic is the Petite Sloan Pant. So the great thing about this Sloan cut that I really like, and I apologize that this pant is so wrinkled, I took this straight out of the wash and have not steamed it out. So maybe if I stretch it a little, <laughs> you'll be able to see it. Um, and actually, I'm well, okay, again, First of all, petite Sloan pant. I wear petite because I'm 5'1", but they obviously make it in you know regular sizes as well, and I believe a tall size. I will be linking these products in the description box down below, so don't worry about that. Um, a great thing that I love about this pant is that it does have a slim, I wouldn't quite call it a skinny leg, but it's very slim on the leg. And when you're shopping for workwear, you do wanna look tailored. And for me, sometimes it's hard to find pants that I don't have to go and get taken in or have hemmed up. I don't have to do that for the Petite Sloan pant. And again, because it comes in a regular size, if you're taller than 5'2", you probably won't have to worry about them being too short either. Um, they also have, I don't know if you can kind of see that, there's a little bit of a stretch. I like to size up a little bit when it comes to my work bottoms. I just don't like sitting at a desk and having, you know, everything sucked in and uncomfortable. Like, look, we're at work. I don't need to be having a snatched waist at work, okay? Um, there's no one at my office that I'm trying to impress, at least not that way. Um, so I would just want to be comfortable and that's why I love these pants because they do have a little bit of a give. Let me see what the, okay. Um, so it's 53% cotton, 42% rayon, and 5% spandex. So there is a little bit of a stretch, at least in this pair. And I think that just makes it so much more comfortable. And again, it has a really amazing flattering cut. Um, I typically wear these pants with heels, but because they are, um, they hit me right at the ankle, even at my shorter height, um, 
I can get away with wearing flats with them if I want to, you know, walk and go somewhere for work and I don't want to wear my heels on the long trek to wherever we're going for work. I can switch to flats and still feel comfortable about knowing that they're, these pants are not going to drag on the floor or anything like that. They come in a lot of great, you know, basic colors. I would say that the three colors for work pants that you're really going to want are the obvious ones. You want a, a solid black pair, a solid navy pair, and a solid gray pair. Those are going to go with any top that you have, any shirt that you have, and then you could get a little bit more creative in the color of your shirt. Um, but truly, I mean, these pants are the workhorse of my work closet, no pun intended. They are just amazing and they are so high quality. I do also have here some pants from the sister store, Old Navy. So these were on mega sale on Black Friday and I got sucked in. I really wasn't planning on buying some pants, but again, like I said, I ran out of all my work pants because I gained weight this year. So I do, there is a need in my closet for alternative pants. I really thought that this pair was so cute and this pair, interesting but still pretty classic. It's a very, you know, traditional kind of tablecloth checkered print. And these would just look really great with a button up white shirt. If you have a business casual dress code at your office, a white button up shirt with a printed pant can look really put together and still have a little bit of personality. You don't have to go with, you know, your classic black suit. I also really like a button up shirt with a nice statement necklace and a printed pant and with a, a pair of, you know, black heels um, or even like a blushed or nude pair of pumps. Um, this is just a really you know, cute, interesting, but still work appropriate outfit. This shirt is from Banana Republic. It is one of my favorite button up shirts. It is the Riley tailored fit. And what's great about this shirt is that it still has the look um, of your classic button down, but it's cut, it's more flattering cut. Um, it is a tailor fit you see here. It does come in a little bit, but again, there is a little bit of a, I don't want to say a full on stretch. Okay, so there's 3% spandex in these shirts. So you do have a little bit of stretch. The last thing that you want to be doing when you're sitting at your desk typing is thinking, oh my gosh, I cannot move my arms. So that's why I really like these button downs. Apparently they do literally have a little bit of stretch in them and they, that just makes them super comfortable. It also comes in this really classic blue color. Again, you know, workwear doesn't always have to be boring. Like I showed you earlier, you can get a fun pattern pair. I mean, even this could look really cute together. Um, you can get a pattern pair of pants, but if you want to maintain that professional vibe, pair it with a button down. If you're wearing, you know, a more casual looking top, pair it with a plainer um, trouser. Um, that's kind of how I think about my work outfits when I'm going um, through my closet in the mornings. Um, I really should be planning my outfits the night before because that would save me a lot of time. But I just love, a, again, a button up is the perfect backdrop for something like a statement necklace, which is still, you know, interesting but work appropriate. And I just think Banana Republic makes the best button up tops. So this again is the Riley Taylor fit. They also have petite sizing. So if you again are shorter, you don't have to worry about hemming up the arms. A lot of times I end up rolling up my sleeves anyway, but if you do want to wear it, um, long or even under a blazer. That's something that's possible. You have the different cuts, petite and regular fit. Something that I do want to add about the difference between the Banana Republic Sloan pant and this ankle length pant from Old Navy is that there is a very clear quality difference. So this is, I I guess this is the Old Navy Pixie Pant. Um, they, because they're sister brands, thankfully they are the same as far as size. I wear the same size across Old Navy and Banana Republic and Gap. 
Um, but this old navy pair retails for $34.99, whereas the Sloan pant, I don't have how much the Sloan pant retails for because I washed these and I took the tag out. I will post it on the screen here. This is how much the Banana Republic Sloan pant retails for before any discounts. Um, again, both of these brands have major discounts usually throughout the year. I've seen it on a random Thursday where they'll be offering 30% off. So even if you didn't have a chance to get, you know, the 50% off deal at Black Friday, again, post-holiday sales, usually they have anywhere from 30 to 50% off. So keep an eye out for that. Back to this. I keep getting sidetracked, guys. I keep getting sidetracked. Um, there is a very clear quality difference between the Banana Republic pant and the Old Navy pant. There is a clear difference when you stick your leg in each pant. Um, it just feels, the Old Navy pant feels a lot, wow, it feels a lot thinner. Um, even just sticking my hand in like this, it just feels a lot thinner. Um, oh yeah, I wish that you could feel this. I wish that you can feel the difference here because it's notably, notably different. So if you're gonna ask me, should I go for the Banana Republic pant or the Old Navy pant? I would say go for the Banana Republic pant. I don't like to contribute to this cycle of overconsumption that is pretty rampant in this fashion industry, but if you have a need um, for things, if you don't fit your old work clothes, if you're starting a new job that's different than the job that you had before and so you have to dress differently, maybe more professionally, you have a need and that's when we can think about, that's when we should be buying, you know? and. Um, when we are buying, we want to make choices that are more sustainable. If we're not literally buying a pair of pants that's made from recycled water bottles, we should be buying clothes that are made well, so we don't have to be buying new ones every season. I would not be surprised if these Old Navy pants um, wear out faster than my Banana Republic pants. That's just a reality. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, I mean, these pants do fit and they fit well, but, you know, let's say I happen to gain more weight, I could very easily see these pants splitting down the seam, um, at least m much more easily than the Banana Republic pant would. And so if you buy clothes from Old Navy, you know, sometimes Sometimes we're on a budget, I get it. But being budget friendly doesn't always mean that you walk out of the store with the lowest price on your receipt. Sometimes that means thinking in a grander, you know, long-term scheme. If you're gonna have to be buying these pants at $35 every year, but this pan is gonna last you five years and cost something like $80, you know, do the math, you know, 35 times five, versus 80. I'm not going to try to, I don't, what is 35 times 5? Whatever that is, that's higher than 80. I can tell you that. <laughs> I don't get paid to do math. Um, but so if you think about it that way, it actually does end up cheaper. Uh, it ends up being cheaper for you to invest in the quality pant up front. That's not to say that I'm going to go and return these pants because they're adorable. They're super, super cute. Um, but things that I do in order to make my workwear last longer is I, you know, wash them on delicate and I hang them to dry so that, you know, they are not, um, going through an extra wear cycle in the dryer. Um, that is something else that is amazing about the Banana Republic pant. So often workwear is dry clean only. The Banana Republic Sloan pant is washable amazing wash them on gentle in your you know machine um, use a gentle detergent and they will last you if you hang and dry them if you do have work clothes that are dry clean only um, I would consider using something like dry L which is a kit I'll try to find it and link it down below it's a kit where you can do at home dry cleaning to kind of refresh your clothes in between dry cycles so you don't have to go to the dry cleaners every week you can also use a steamer 
If you have a clothes steamer, you can use that to refresh your clothes in between taking it to the dry cleaner and that will help extend the life of your clothes as well. Another workwear favorite of mine is Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor is another store that has amazing deals throughout the year. Black Friday, they did have a 50% off special. At the time of filming, they were also doing a mystery sale that ended up being also 50% off. And after Christmas, um, I imagine that they're going to have a similar deal anywhere from 30 to 50% off retail. Um, the shirt that I'm wearing today is from Ann Taylor. Um, it's not really showing up that well on camera. It's kind of this maroon plum color with pearls on the sleeve. I just love all of Ann Taylor's little details. I love their pearl pieces. I actually ended up getting this pearl wrap skirt. You can see here, um, it has this kind of like faux wrap slit in the front, um, although it is still covered. <laughs> and it has these beautiful pearl buttons. So this retails for a price that I don't know because uh, the price tag is ripped off, but I will put it on the screen here. This is how much the skirt retails for. I was able to get it for 50% off and there's a sale. Again, Ann Taylor has amazing sales throughout the year. Part of the reason why I find them to be an amazing workwear brand. Um, as far as sizing goes, so, I would say that their pants, you can size, I don't want to say size down. So for example, if you wear a six in a Banana Republic and Old Navy, you're going to be able to fit probably into a four in Ann Taylor. Um, that said, again, for your workwear bottoms, you don't want them to be that tight. So I wouldn't be, I, I would say that the sizing is Kind of similar across the board. Um, what si whatever size that you wear in Banana Republic, Gap, Old Navy, you could probably get away with the same size in Ann Taylor, if not one size down. Um, I just think they have really beautiful and interesting pieces. Again, at work, you might not necessarily want to be super flashy. Maybe you are in a more conservative office where you can't wear things like a printed pant. You can just wear a skirt like this that has really interesting details like these pearl buttons here or the interesting cut of this hem. Ann Taylor pants are amazing as well. They do also have the petite cut so you don't have to worry about hemming if you are on the petite side. Um, again, but they have the regular pants as well. So I just love when you can buy a pair of work pants and not have to worry about taking them to the tailor because who has time for that? These pants are also washable like the Banana Republic one. And I feel like they have a little bit more stretch to them um, than the Banana Republic ones, but they don't feel quite as thick. Um, they And you can kind of feel that when you put them on as well. Um, I don't want to say that they're sheer, but you can sometimes see the cut of the pocket through these. So if that's something that you're concerned about, you might want to steer clear of their pants. Um, they don't seem to be as lined as a pair, a brand like Banana Republic. Um, but I still think that these pants are super comfortable. They do have a lycra in them, so there is some stretch. And I just think that, you know, they're a great neutral pant. My favorite thing about Ann Taylor, though, is their work tops. Again, I'm wearing one now. I bought the exact same shirt in a different color. You can see these beautiful pearl details as well. And I also got it in black. <laughs> I just think it's a really great top. Um, the sleeve is not too short. I still feel covered up at work because sometimes it can get cold with the office air conditioning. And it's still really interesting and it's very easy to tuck in to a trouser. I also got this puff sleeve shirt. It also has this pretty pearl detail up top. Um, I just love a good pearl top. I love a good pearl top. Um, and when you're, again, looking for a work blouse, you want something that's interesting without necessarily being flashy because work is not the time to be like, hey, look at me, look how interesting I am. Um, at least in most offices, that is not the point of the job when you're at your desk. I just love a top with great detail. Another great place to go for workwear is J. Crew and J. Crew Factory. I am personally a fan of J. Crew Factory because, again, they always have amazing deals. Um, usually, 
around the holiday time, whether it's Black Friday or right after um, Christmas, they have deals anywhere from, you know, 40 to 60% off. And, you know, the J. Crew factory quality is not as great as J. Crew. That's just, you know, it's just not something that you can get around. The quality is just not as great. That said, the quality in and of itself is good, especially for the price that you get. So, and I love especially their wool skirts. So these are perfect for, you know, the fall and winter time. They come in very fall appropriate colors and they're constantly updating their stock. So normally they have your classic colors like the black, navy, and gray, but you can get things like this gorgeous um, maroon kind of whiny red color and that's just something that they update on a regular basis. So J. Crew Factory, again, also have amazing deals throughout the year. It's not just the post-holiday time, so whenever you're looking for new workwear, I think J. Crew Factory's skirts are amazing. They come in petite, they come in regular, and I think that the wool skirts have the best quality. I have found that sometimes the J. Crew Factory tops are too thin and don't have the best quality. Um, they're so thin that they tend to be staticky and they tend to cling and it's not necessarily something that I'm looking for in a work top. I don't want something that's clinging to me. I don't want to be thinking about it clinging to me throughout the day. So I usually stick to the skirt wear. Um, the blazers also are really amazing. They have petite and regular cuts and sometimes it can be hard as a shorter um, person to find a blazer that hits you correctly on the sleeve without getting it um, I guess, would it be hemmed? Would you do hem a sleeve as well or is that just the pant? Without getting the sleeve taken up. I will say something about sizing for J. Crew and J. Crew Factory. They kind of notoriously run large. So if you're a six in Banana Republic, you're going to be something like a two or four in J. Crew Factory. If you're not sure about your size, obviously you can buy it, try it on, send it back. But if you're shopping at things like their mega sales after the holidays where they're, you know, 60% off or they're an extra 50% off of clearance, many, many times, at least on J. Crew Factory, those sales are final sale only. So that is not the time to be trying your size and, you know, taking a risk because it is final sale and you cannot return it. So there you have it, my favorite retailers for workwear and workwear deals. If you made it this far in the video, please leave the word stapler in the comments down below so I know that you made it to the end. And please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already. And if I missed a retailer that you love for workwear, leave it in the comments down below so I can give it a check out. And thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.